today we're going to make one of my favorite desserts of all time. It's the Shoney Strawberry Pie. These things are unbelievable. If you've never had one, you've got to watch how to make this and you've got to try it. It's a copycat recipe from the Shoney's restaurant. I think they mostly have these in the south. If you've got one in the north, put your city in the description. I'd be I'd like to know where they're at now. They used to be called Big Boy or Shoney's Big Boy. It's all about the same restaurant. I think they incorporated it all in. But again, if you've got one near you, especially if you're up north, let me know. So let's get into the ingredients. First thing you need a three ounce of strawberry jello. You can use the regular jello. I just use the great value. I got a 10 inch graham crust. You can also use the shortbread crust. It works really well either way. The 10 inch is about a perfect size. I use the pre-made ones just so I don't have to cook them. We need one cup of sugar. We need about 32 ounces of strawberries that we're going to cut up. You can use the frozen strawberries. And let me tell you my little story about fruits and vegetables. The fruits and vegetables at the front of the grocery store are not the freshest things they are. Most of those get ripened on a truck or a boat on the way to the store using the chemical. The frozen fruits and vegetables are the freshest you can get. They are flash frozen the day they are picked. So these are actually better. The only problem with these using these strawberries is you need to let them thaw because they're frozen. But they work just as well. They're actually better for you. And they're already cut up, so you don't even have to cut them up. But I use the strawberries that I got from the front of Walmart. We do need a half a cup of cornstarch. And we need a cup and three quarters of water. I've got a list of the ingredients in the show notes for this one, since there are a few ingredients. So let's get to cooking. First, you want to put the one and three quarter cup water in the pan, which I've already done here. Use cold water. Very important. Use cold water because then we're going to pour in the cornstarch. And you want to stir it immediately, which I didn't do, so it stuck to the bottom a little bit. But if you don't use cold water, the cornstarch will clump up. So once you've got that all incorporated, we're going to pour the one cup of granulated sugar in. I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat on while I'm doing this. You see as you mix this up, it's just a milky white. We're going to cook this, bringing it up to a boil, and it's going to turn translucent for us. So we want to keep it on a good medium heat, maybe a medium high heat, not too high, and keep stirring it. No, that's not me stirring it. That's Miss Lazy Chef helping. I was cutting the strawberries while she was stirring it. So again, you bring it up to a slight boil, not a big rolling boil but just a good heavy simmer. Once you've done that, take it off the heat. Once you've done that, take it off the heat. Then you're going to take your three ounces of Jello. And you're going to incorporate that in. Now, if you're using fresh strawberries, what you can do is while you're waiting for this to cool, which you need to wait a good probably 10 or 15 minutes, you could be cutting your strawberries up. Or if you do like I say and not like I do, you could use the frozen ones. You've already thawed them out. you got to make sure they're thawed. And you'll be able to use those once this is cooled down. So I've already cut my strawberries. I cut most of them in half. There were a couple bigger ones that I cut in quarters. There were a couple smaller ones that I just topped them and that's all I did for them. So that's the consistency that you want the slurry, some people call it. You want to take all your strawberries, put them in a bowl. Some of them were trying to make a run for it. Oh, yeah, they did try to make a run for it. Look at that. Then we pour all this into the strawberries. Again, you've got to let it cool down maybe 10 or 15 minutes. 
You want it basically still warm to the touch is fine. You just don't want it to be so hot that it tries to cook anything when you're putting it in. So then I took a slotted spoon and mixed them all up just so all the strawberries get coated. So that's what they look like. So once you get that done, you're going to scoop them into the pie crust. If you've cooked one, that's fine. If you've made your own, that's fine. You know me being the lazy chef. I just got the pre-made one. I scooped them in just so I didn't have to flatten them out. And I didn't want to run any chance of breaking the pie crust or anything like that. So if you do, not that big of a deal. This is just the way I've always done it. You only get all the strawberries you can into there. This 10 inch pie crust and that many strawberries works out really well. Like I said, graham crust or the shortbread pie crust, either way works really well. So this is what it'll look like when you're done. Tastes even better than it looks. The hardest thing to do with this is now you're going to have to put it in the refrigerator for about two or three hours. It will solidify that way, but you have to do it. Take it out of the fridge after a couple of three hours. A lot of people use whipped cream on here. We just like eating it straight. The biggest problem with this thing you'll have is if you take this to a dinner somewhere to have it, you better take two or three because people are going to devour this. And now for the rating system. We have four categories, one being a lazy chef, and five being a full home chef, for a total of up to 20 points. Prep time is a 2x. There's a few steps for it. Number of ingredients, I'm going to give it a 3x. Still not that tough. Unique ingredients, I'm going to give it a 2x because you do need the pie crust. Unique equipment, it's a 1. There's not a whole lot here. A total of 8x, still pretty easy to make, and it's a great dessert. If you could, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Make sure to click the bell so you get notified every Thursday at noon when we have a new recipe come out. Let me know if you try it. Thanks.